Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome to my live. <laughs> my name's Crystal, aka Crystal Maximizer, and I am a strategic money coach, which means I help women be intentional with their money so they can make progress on their financial goals and do more of what they want. Okay, so for today's live, I am going to clean out my coupon bag. I have not cleaned out my coupon bag in months. I do plan to actually go couponing tomorrow. Um, Hey, Shonda. I do actually plan to go couponing tomorrow. I'm actually going to create my breakdowns while I'm on live with y'all tonight. I have a surge of energy. I took a nap. My coupon bag is a hot mess. There's a lot of coupons in here that I need to get rid of. So if you are new here, I want to let you know that I have been couponing for 14 years. I've couponed since, hey, Sherry. I've couponed since 2000. Hey, Pamela. I've couponed since 2008, okay? And one thing that I've always had the whole time I've couponed is a coupon bag. I usually do not buy a bag for couponing. I used to be a heavy Victoria's Secret shopper. I do not shop there like I used to. But hey, Kiva. So what I would do is I would just take a bag that I already have at home. So you can use a reusable shopping bag, any sort of tote bag that you have, and make it your coupon bag. But I am overdue for a cleaning um, this is something that I usually do with my Money Saving Academy members. Since I have not been couponing a lot, I just haven't done it. So I need to clean out my coupon bag. So what I'm also going to do is, hold on, can I add that in? Oh, no, it's too late. I can't. I was going to add the Academy in. Anyway, hey, Geraldine. So I'm going to clean out my bag. So I keep a certain things in my coupon bag. So I will show y'all exactly what I have. I have this little pocket in here. So let me know in the comments if you coupon. Uh, no, let me know in the comments where you're watching from and if you coupon and if you have a coupon bag. So first things first, I'll do my little flap because I know the stuff in here needs to get changed. So um, since I be recording, I always have a lotion in my front flap. And then some of the stuff is, I hope TikTok don't ding me, but I got to take this stuff out. So again, I haven't used my coupon bag really in a long time because I... uh. Because I took a, a lifelong break from couponing. So what I have in that front flat, which I need to restock, of course, is I have pins. You cannot coupon without pins. You cannot be in the store. Hey, Nikki from Florida. I'm also in Florida, too. What part are you in? Um, Central Mississippi. Okay, so you all, always have to have pins. This is nearly not enough pins. I usually have more than that. So I'm going to put a couple more pins in here. Because you never know. So let me just grab two. These are my favorite, my S gel pins in 1.0. And then I also like these really cheap Bic pins. They're cheap, but they work so damn good. Lakeland, Polk County, okay. Um, So I'm going to put pins back in my front flap. I do not go anywhere without chapstick. I have chapstick oh, in this one. Oh, I thought it was low. I have chapstick in every purse, every backpack, every hey Shakira. I have uh, chapstick everywhere because my lips, they be getting checked. So I have chapstick in here. Another thing, I have been traumatized. I have tampons and panty liners in every single bag that I carry. Okay, these are kind of beat up. I need to restock these, but I'm going to put these in here. Because I have been caught literally with, with a situation where I didn't have something. Or as a woman, a woman is always asking. So I make sure I have feminine care in every single bag, whether it's close to that time of the month or not. Hand sanitizer. I have another one, but Kinsley got me for it. It's in the car. But I always have hand sanitizer because I'm always touching stuff. And then because after or since I had my braces, your girl, I have floss everywhere. So I always bring floss with me because after having braces, again, traumatized with stuffing your teeth and not having my toothbrush with me. So I always at least need floss. And then this is contact lens solution because I do be wearing contacts. Sometimes I haven't in a long time, but I just I just got some. But I always have contact lens solution because when I was recording heavy, you know, you're in the store and stuff happens. I also keep a pair of scissors. Now, funny story, my coupon bag scissors I put in my backpack. And when I went to the airport and I was running to meet my sister and my mom in Houston, I forgot that I had my scissors in there and they were I'm not sure I understand. They were these long scissors, and apparently it's longer than the size you could have of a carry-on um, on the airplane. So they took them. So I have to put these in there and buy myself a new pair. I usually have my pink scissors. Thank God it wasn't my pink scissors. I would have been sad. It was one of these black pairs. 
So I got rid of them. So in the bag, I'm going to show y'all what I have. So first things first, this definitely has to get cleaned out. I have this large accordion, and this is where I store my inserts, okay? Um, I have my clipboard, and it's one of the clipboards that opens, right? And I have, like, breakdowns and stuff in here. So it's one of the clipboards that open. This calculator we discovered the other night does not work anymore. Like the some of the num the numbers are like cut off. Do you see that? It's a dot. It's from the Dollar Tree. I always like to have a, a calculator. I'm gonna just go ahead and throw it away. But I have my clipboard with my breakdowns in there, and we're gonna we're about to organize all this because this is a hot mess. And I was like, I need to go couponing, but my bag has got to be organized. And then I have my actual accordions, and I'm gonna tell y'all what my method is. And then I also have this folder that I use for inserts. So one of them has got to go. Like I have too much in here. So yeah, I'm not about to keep carrying around all of this. I'm not about to keep carrying around all of this, but I have a folder where I can put inserts and coupons in as well. But I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all there's a method to my madness. And then I have these small accordions, which I really don't use anymore. So I'm really about to take those out, but I'm gonna share with y'all the method to my madness, okay? Y'all ready? And then the last thing we'll do is we're gonna go through these because most of these are expired. I'm going to save some for, I thought that was rain. It's an airplane. I'm going to save some for recording purposes, but these are all the inserts I've been getting for free. Again, my mailman gives us a free save insert every single week, and then I was getting the Spanish newspaper for a few weeks. Um, so all of those are there. We're going to go through those in a second. I have my old Walgreens booklets that they do not do anymore, apparently. So I'm going to save these because I feel like these are, look, a mask, you know, COVID. I had masks everywhere. I'm going to keep that up here just in case. But sometimes you walk into a place and I'm like, mm -mm, I need a mask. Um, Yeah, I'm going to be sad. I don't need two of the same ones. I'm sad that they don't do the booklets anymore, but I'm keeping these for reference purposes. Okay. I found another pen in the big part. Chris the Maximizer business cards. I'm going to put that in the front too because you always got to have them. I see people in store. They ask me questions. I had a trash bag because my plan was to clean out the coupon bag. Look, another trash bag. Never know when you need a trash bag. And look, I found some more pins. That's where my other pins were. So here's some more pins. So that's the end of the bag. So first things first, I think for inserts, I'm going to keep this versus the accordion because the accordion is just too big and I'm not going to be having inserts like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw that in here. Now inside the accordion, there is a bunch of coupons that I'm about to get rid of. So basically, when I was getting inserts, which it's been over a year, <laughs> basically, I would just file them in here. Let me be careful because some of these are like mailed coupons and it has my address on them. So basically, going into 2023, this stuff is kind of unnecessary for me, if I'm being honest with you, because I'm not going to be doing a lot of paper couponing. I'm still going to continue to get that free save. This is from 2021. I told you this stuff is old. Um, and these have my address on it. So hold on. This is old. What is this from? So I don't need all of this stuff. I don't need all these accordions and everything because I'm literally only going to be getting like one free insert a week. I need to start keep hunting and I haven't been doing it. I've been running low. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to need all this stuff for like paper couponing. So I'm just, I am, I'm getting rid of it and I'm lightening my load. So these inserts are from April. I want to keep some of the PNG and some of the Unilever just so that when I'm recording, I have them. Um, this is from April. Here's a save. I want to keep because they always they keep changing the name of the damn insert. So I'm like, let me keep it. Yeah, these are all what we got, what I got for free from the Spanish newspaper. And then here's some printables. When I teach, I like to have printables, right? So these are some expired printables that I can keep. So when I am teaching and recording videos and stuff, I can share them. So all of this was just filed away in my accordion. It was just nice to have it neatly in here when I was couponing. I only cut out the coupons of what I'm going to use. Here's some more printables, but I'm going to use these two as scratch paper. So I'm just going to put it on my... Um, my clipboard. So if I print out coupons and I don't use them for whatever reason, I'm going to use the back of them for scratch paper because it's a full sheet of paper and I can use them to make breakdowns or do math or what have you. Um, 
Oh, cute. Oh, this is a Black History Unilever. I'm going to keep that for recording. And then look, this March Madness Unilever. I'm going to keep these for recording purposes. Now, this is empty. Was this empty? Almost empty. So I can save this in the house for something else. But I'm not going to continue to carry it around in my coupon bag and make it heavy. Because I'm not going to be needing it. These are CRTs from December of last year. I'm going to save them for recording purposes. More printables. Look at this. 75 cents off. This is from July, a dollar off bounce July last year, a dollar fifty off begging treats. Like these were some high value coupons that we don't see anymore. And then, of course, another Walgreens booklet from 2021. Oh, here's a PG. We know the PG is leaving. So this is from September 2021. If you are someone that still gets inserts, one thing I teach in my programs is put the date on the front of your inserts. So you can easily find it when you're looking at the coupon database. Did you know that on the spine, this is so teeny tiny, on the spine, it has the date. Can you see that on TikTok? It's probably a little blurry. It says March 21st. I don't know if y'all can see it on. I don't see it. Y'all can't see. It. It's really small. The date of the insert is on the spine. So you can see what the date is. Let me save that for purposes. So it's always there. Here's a $10 extra buck on paper that I use digitally. So I have some extra bucks I can show y'all. Here is a Walgreens cash booster. When people ask Walgreens cash boosters, spend $35 and get $8 in Walgreens cash. Here's a booster. I'll save that for recording, this for recording. I've saved enough CRTs. I don't need to save these ones too. It's just too much. Here is spend 30, get seven, which is better than spend 35, get eight. And this is from March 6th, 2021. That's how old this stuff is that was in here. I don't need to keep all these save inserts. Here is a PNG that I will keep. And look, here's a Unilever from October 2021. That was around the last time I bought inserts, which was in August 2021. Let me see. This is from... Oh, it's ripped off. The date of that one is ripped off. Okay, all right, so that means my accordion is empty. I'm not putting that back in my coupon bag. The other thing I discovered, my coupon bag was too freaking heavy. And I was like, eh, this ain't the move. Okay, so the way in which I had my system for the past almost 10 years, about nine years, is I have six accordions. This big one is what I like to call my store accordion. And today, this is going to be my main focus. I'm not going to use these little ones anymore. And let me tell you why. So basically, all the coupons that I'm using in store go in here. So I have CVS, Walgreens, um, labeled, and then everything else is just kind of like a free-for-all because I don't be going anywhere else too, too much. Some of my labels fell off. So where's my good black marker? I'm going to re... I don't see my... Oh, here's my black marker. I'm going to rewrite it on here. I don't have the label. But basically, all of my CRTs, my Walgreens cash boosters, even my receipts right after I shop. I put everything into here. Everything goes into this accordion. And when I was getting inserts, so in 2021 and before, I would basically cut out any coupon of things that I knew I was going to use for sure. And then I would file them away. Do you see that? I would file them away in here. So when I would sit down and I would be like, all right, I'm getting tampons this week. I'm getting body wash this week. The tampon and body wash coupons that I cut, I could just come in here and find them. Black was for non-food, and the blue ones were for food. And these are completely empty because I'm not I haven't used them because I haven't bought inserts. So this is when I was clipping. I would go through and I would clip from my inserts all the things that I knew for sure that we were going to use, right? I didn't clip all the tampon coupons. I only clipped the tampon coupons of the brands that I knew that I was going to use. So then that way, when it was time to coupon, I could just come to the accordion. And these, this one still has a coupon. I could just come to the accordion and use it. I cut this off of a box, right? And I just dropped it in here where it was appropriately. Let's see what this is. This is from February 2020, it looks like. or Oh, no, December 2020. Wow. From Giant when I was in Baltimore. Crazy. I'm going to keep that for nostalgia purposes. And this too, this is from a box of Italian ice. Okay, so if y'all just watching, welcome. My name's Crystal. I've been couponing for almost 15 years and I'm cleaning out my coupon bag. I am getting rid of my accordions because in 2023, we are doing all digital couponing and I don't need these. 
Here is a Skippy peanut butter coupon that came off of something. Off a jar of Skippy peanut butter. Right? It expired 2-17-2021. I've had it in here for a long time. I'm going to keep that for recording purposes. And then I got this. This expired September 2020. I've had that for a while, too. So basically what I would do is I would clip all of my inserts of the things that I knew I was going to buy. And I would file them away. Food in blue, non-food in black. And then when I sat down, like I'm about to do right now and create my breakdown for what I'm going to buy, I would go in this accordion and drop all the coupons of things I was going to use. So if I needed to go into a store, all I need is this accordion and my clipboard, which is what I'm about to be doing moving forward. So now let's clean this out. I'm going to clean this out from back to front. There is from earlier this year, a four all 40 from CVS. So we can get rid of that. And since I haven't been couponing like crazy, I have not been in here. I have a bunch of receipts and stuff in here. So let's go through them and see what else we find. This is recent. This is a spend 40, get nine in Walgreens cash. I don't need that. This receipt is from April 10th at Walgreens. I redeemed a bunch of Walgreens cash for that. Do not need that. I can oh, save one receipt. Because when I'm recording and I need to show people... I, I'll uh, keep these. Brittany, all digital. Okay, so basically what I'm explaining is I'm not I'm not um, looking for inserts. I'm not buying inserts. I'm not chasing paper coupons. So what my coupon strategy looks like for 2023 is I'm going to use digital coupons at the stores. I'm going to use rebate apps. I'm going to print coupons from coupons.com and the manufacturer's website. Now, every week, my mailman gives us a save insert in our mailbox a free insert on Tuesdays. I will use that free insert on Tuesdays. Also, in Orlando, there's a free Spanish newspaper. Whenever I see the free Spanish newspaper available in my area and I need it, I'm going to go ahead and grab it if it has inserts in it. But I am not going to be committed to getting a newspaper subscription or buying inserts from a coupon fairy. This is a good Look at this is a bomb coupon and receipt. I'll spend 40 I have my said a spend 40, get 10, a spend 40, get eight. Wow. My total was $40 before coupons, y'all. And then after my coupons, I paid $29 and I got back $14. So this was like a net $15 transaction, which was epic to go from $40 to it only costing us $15. That's a great receipt. So I am not going to be chasing paper coupons at all. My motto for 2023, and I posted a video about couponing changing on my YouTube channel, so go check that out. My motto for 2023 is how can I save, excuse me, how can I save money with what I have? It's free to use digital coupons. It's free to print. I already have to buy ink for Kinsley School. I already have a printer because Kinsley is homeschooled, right? So ink costs, but I only replace our ink I bought her two things of ink. So I replace our ink every three months. So I'm spending $30 every three months, not even make, I'm going to say four months because I buy ink about three times a year. So I'm spending about $100 a year on ink that I can print out a couple coupons, no problem. So I'm trying to figure out how can I reduce my cost going out? And also I look back over the past year, I didn't need to buy an insert since August, 2021. So what that tells me is I don't need a newspaper subscription unless they're giving me a $10 for a year. Unless I find that $10 for a year deal again, if it's more than that, I'm not buying it. It's not worth it, right? I'm not chasing insert coupons. I'm not doing it. That's my personal decision. I feel like it's counterproductive. And I feel like I want to know how intentional can I be with what's in front of me that's free or printable. So that's my plan for 2023 is to use all digital coupons, okay? I've never been a shelf clearer. I've never been someone who has multiple accounts and does a deal 50,000 times. I am not that person, right? I am totally okay with doing a deal once and when it comes back again, doing it again, okay? So these are recent, but they expired on the third. Um, Yeah, I don't need these receipts. I do not. So I'm cleaning out my coupon bag. And these are all CVS CRTs. I have some Kirkleman's. This is look, this is from February. 
right? We needed soy sauce, so I print, cut out two of them and we used one. Um, I have some old ass. Here's a rain check from 2015. They never had Viva, so I haven't used it. That's another Viva one. I have a soft soap body wash. Hmm, maybe I will do this. This is from 2018 rain check. It's buy four. Buy one and get a dollar and seventy five cents extra buck at the sale price of three forty nine for soft soap. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna bring this in and use that. A Gatorade two for five four pack, and when you get two, you get a two dollar extra buck. That's another one I can do. They have the Hellman's. This is from twenty fifteen. I don't know what year this is from. Viva. I had a lot of Viva. This is the gear. But they just wrote extra book and then tell me how many. And then, oh, I have, oh, now this Tide Pods. Tide Pods, $3.94 on sale. Spend 15 and get five. This is from 2015. They would still have to honor it. So these three, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Because I could get four Tide Pods for $15 and get a $5 extra book back. And they have to honor this, even though it's from 2015. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a video on using my rain checks at CVS. And I'm going to try to make sure my CVS has them all and see if I can do them all at once. <laughs> I think that's a good video. Using rain checks from 2015 and 2018 at CVS. And I'm, this literally might be a transaction where I do this and get the $5 extra buck and then do these two and get the $8 extra bucks. Yes, they honor them. They do not have an expiration date. They do not expire. This rain check does not expire. Y'all see that? This rain check does not expire. Kiva, if you want to learn how to coupon, I would love, 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 love to help you. I have a program called the Money Saving Academy where I teach you how to save up to $300 per month by couponing, budgeting, meal planning, and strategically shopping. There's a course and there's weekly live trainings where I teach you how to coupon. If you want to know what it's like to work with me before you uh, work with me short term, before you work with me long term in the academy, I am hosting a better budget challenge in January. It's only twenty three dollars and I'm going to teach you how to save one hundred dollars in three days. So I'm going to do day one of budgeting, day two of couponing and day three of meal planning and day four is a live Zoom Q&A. So if you are interested in working with me, if you want to learn how to strategically coupon like me, you can go to kristamaximizer.com and sign up for the Better Budget Challenge. Use the promo code 2023 and you can get it for just $23. This way you can work with me for four days, see if you want me to be your coach, and then you can work with me long term inside the Money Saving Academy. Wow, never do that. Yes, the rain checks do not expire, baby. I wish I would have gotten more in those days, but this is as many as I have. So these are going to go on my CVS pile. Um, here's another CRT from April. It just, it feels good to shed the skin and just get back on a brand new fresh coupon and train. I'm excited to be a little bit more consistent and rebuild back up my stockpile because I'm low on a lot of things. And I want to be able to build that up. Okay, so this is, these expire on December 11th and it's December 17th. I don't need this. I don't need this. Okay, so here is my most recent CVS extra bucks. So those can go right here. This is my most recent CVS receipt. Today is December what? So I will put this downstairs. This is from December 4th. I'll put these downstairs with my other receipts. Um, this was when I got 90% off clearance at CVS. So I don't need that. What is this? I don't need that either. I'll use that one. And then here's some coupons. So I have these bounce. They expire in... I have this gift card, which I'm pretty sure is empty, but let's see if we can check the inquiry of that gift card. I need to cut these. Where's my scissors? I have to get my pink scissors from downstairs to put. Um, what do you mean CRT? CRT is a CVS coupon. It stands for cash register tape, and that's what we call our CVS coupons, CRTs. Um, so this goes in CVS. These are going to go on the front as general coupons. 
just in case I do a bounce deal before the end of the year, but I highly doubt it. Here's some Downy Unstoppables. I have a, <laughs> a tie coupon that expires in December. So I have that, those two, two that I need to use. I have these cereal coupons that I got off of the cereal box. Okay, so my accordion is completely cleaned out. Let me put these receipts over here. And I have my CVS extra bucks. I'm going to go to this. Um, hey, Janie girl. I'm going to go and make sure that this Walgreens gift card is empty. I'm pretty sure it is. But before I, before I throw that bad boy away, we are going to check the balance. So we're cleaning out my coupon bag. So next, I'm going to clean off my clipboard. I got to make sure I put scissors in there when I get downstairs. I'm going to clean off my clipboard. It says, like, I got a call. I'm using both my phones right now. But So now my accordion is nice and fresh and ready to be filled with more CRTs and Walgreens. Um, Walgreens register rewards and such. So that's in my bag. So my coupon bag is feeling so much lighter, y'all, because it was so heavy. Like, when I tell you it was heavy, it was heavy. Oh, we got to go through these inserts. Before we get to the clipboard, we're going to go through these inserts that I have. Again, these were all free. I have not paid for these. My, my mailman, he gives us a free save insert every single week. And we have a Spanish newspaper here. So I'm basically just going through to see if anything is good until the end of December or until 2024. And I'll keep them. Otherwise, I'm chucking them. And I'm going to put them in my recycling bin downstairs. I'm going to save the PNGs for nostalgia and when I'm, you know, sharing. Also, in 2023, when I teach couponing, I'm going to, you know, teach you about how to use inserts. Um, but I'm I'm not going to be pushing inserts at all. We are going to be talking about how to digitally coupon and how to save with what we have. I've always loved paper coupons because I like having control. I like being able to give my cashier the coupon and not have to wait to rely on the register to glitch for us. Now, here's something that expires in May 2023, sports powder. I'd never buy it, so I'm not even going to cut it. But it has a really long expiration date until May 2023. They really want people to buy them things. Um, but I'm not I, – I like – Paper coupons, okay? I'm telling you, I love paper coupons. But with the way that they are right now, I'm not stressing my little self out over them. I can tell you that. I'm not going to be stressing myself out and paying for them because the values are not there. But like Crystal five years ago, she didn't want to work with digitals. Okay, so here's an example. Remember we said the PNG is going away? Here's an example of a PNG coupon in the save insert. So this is the save insert, right? And inserts do not come out every single week. Inserts don't come out every week. Most weeks. Out of 52 weeks, you probably get coupon inserts like 48, 47. So there's, you can literally Google coupon insert schedule. You know what? Let me look that up too. And it'll tell you what inserts that we are supposed to get. But yes, y'all are right. It is not worth it to pay for coupons. In my opinion, in a lot of y'all opinions, right? It's not worth it. So I'm I'm working with digitals. If I can get inserts for free, I will, but I ain't stressing about it. I think this is the 2022 schedule. Cause they still have the PNG on here. And baby ain't no PNG. This this can't be. Oh, this is the 2022. Yeah, I was going to say, there ain't no way 2023. Ain't no PNG coming out, baby. But you want to look up the coupon insert schedule to see what coupons are even supposed to come out, right? Because, like, this week, we're not supposed to get no inserts. So, with, tomorrow's the 18th. No inserts. No inserts on the 25th, which is Christmas, right? And our last PNG is going to come out on January 1st. That's it. For PNG. So then it'll be save, it'll be this Unilever whenever it comes out, and smart source, right? That's what's gonna be coming out. Okay, these don't expire till 2023. These are BJ's coupons. Um, I usually get inserts. 
Okay. I don't I'm I'm just not paying for it no more. It ain't worth it. It's not worth it. For me, it's for the coupons that come out in my area, it's really not worth it. When I was in Baltimore, I would get the newspapers because they were literally a dollar and twenty-five cents. When I was there, they were a dollar at Dollar Tree. And then as I was moving back, because when I was there in 2021, it was still a dollar. And then it went up to a dollar twenty-five cents. What at the end of 2021, early 2022? Yes, I get my save insert for free as well. But in Baltimore, I was like, I can waste two, I can waste two dollars a week, right? If I spend two dollars in the inserts, the coupons aren't that good. I'm fine with that because it's only two dollars a week or eight dollars a month. And if the and if the deals were really good or if the coupons are really good, I will go back and maybe get two more, right? So when the deals come again at the end of the month, I'd have coupons for it, right? Here's another example of PNG coupons inside of the save insert. So we won't be getting like this Swiffer and Mr. Clean in the PNG insert, but do you see how they put PNG coupons in the save insert? So that's what we're still going to continue to get. I don't know how consistently, but we're still going to get it, right? I had an insert downstairs that just came in ahead. It had Eucerin in it. So I want to know if I have that one up here or if I left it downstairs because it came in the mail on Tuesday and it had a user in it. Um, so again, if your goal is to save money, let's not stress about spending money, i.e. buying inserts to save money. Let's worry about how can we save with what we have for free, right? I mm, feel like something to my nose. Like how can we save with what we have for free? That is That is the goal. That is the plan. That is the focus. Don Platinum. See, look, here's another PNG coupon inside of the save insert. A buy one, get one free Don Power Wash. But you have to buy one Cascade and get one Don Power Wash for free. Yeah, them Cascades is expensive. A Don Power Wash for free is it's only $5. Like, come on now. Ain't nobody doing that. Well, I ain't gonna lie. Some people probably didn't. All right, I think my insert that's good is downstairs because all of these are super expired. Okay. So we went through that. So now my beloved clipboard, which I know is a hot mess. Now I need to keep some of these breakdowns for recording purposes. But like this, I literally just folded over a piece of um, computer paper and made these. And that's what I'm going to do for tomorrow. We're going to do CVS and Walgreens right now. So I'm going to fold these over. Because basically, this is four deals. And I'm Chris the Maximizer. So what does that mean? It means I'm going to use this whole paper until it's gone. Okay? So let's put CVS up here. And it's going to be for $12.18. And we're going to put Walgreens for $12.18. And then this is my transaction breakdown. I'm gonna like I use the whole entire. So this is my transaction breakdown. This is what I use once I have everything in my cart and I'm deciding what transactions to do. I use this until it's gone. So I have a few more spaces down here. I do need to print out some more. They and Kinsley are sleeping right now, so I'll work on printing them out tomorrow. Like here's a Walgreens one that's kind of fresh. I don't want to print it out now because I don't feel like going downstairs and turning the printer on honestly. Like, I've done them on a sticky note. I always have a breakdown before I go in store. And then, look, front and back. I, I didn't have a paper, so I did my deals breakdown on the back of my top deals. But, hey, we're going to use the pages until they're gone. Look at this. Front and back. We use them pages until they are gone. So, this is my deals breakdown. So, when I'm not just using a piece of paper, I give each deal a block. And on my YouTube channel and my older videos, you can print this out. You can't edit it, but you can print it out. You can put each deal individually here and you can see your rewards, your rebates, which you're going to pay out of pocket and what your final price is after reward. And then once you get to the store and you're like, okay, you see all the things with a check mark? Those are the deals that I'm doing. What transactions do I want to do them in? That's when you do the transaction breakdown. So you do this at the store. You do this one at home. Right, so I'm gonna save that for recording purposes because it's all filled out, all nice. And then here's a CVS one that's all filled out, so nice. So I have one CVS and one Walgreens. I'm gonna put them in there for recording. 
I also have just general sheets of paper. I do need to, like I said, print out some more breakdowns. And then I have a Dollar General one in here. I haven't done this in a while. This is when I was doing a Dollar General transaction, right? And I wrote everything out. My total before coupons was $28. My total after coupons was $16 for six items, which wasn't too bad because I got all Swiffer pads and Febreze. That's back when we had the dog and she was peeing on the carpet because she was old. And not the carpet. She was peeing on the kitchen floor and she was old. So we were buying hella Swiffer pads like all the time. Okay, so that is my clipboard all done inside the clipboard because I got the clipboard from Walmart that opens up. So voila, it has a little pocket. I keep extra breakdowns in here and some sticky notes. So I have a Walgreens top deals. I have two where I cut coupons out. Oh, look at, oh, this is great. So I have CVS on the front. I have BJ's on the back. Do y'all see this? I did this while I was driving. I remember Bay was there. And then here's just an Aaron Condren sheet of paper that had my list, my grocery list on it. I can get rid of that. Listen, I don't be playing. I'm serious about this. This is back in my heyday when I was typing up my top deals. Okay. I used to type them out every single week. That can get recorded on. And then here's another Walgreens transaction breakdown and a CVS top deal. I like to keep these in here just for uh, recording purposes and when I need examples. So I'll leave those two in there. I'll put the white papers in the back. So yeah, I used to have like 10 of each insert, uh, 10 of each breakdown in here. So we're low, but I have one CVS. I don't have no Walgreens. I had, these are all CVS. You can tell I've been going to Walgreens like crazy. All right, so I have three C, four CVSs and no Walgreens. Okay, but I wanted to show y'all this damn BJ's. Do y'all see this? Like, your girl was so detailed with BJ's. Hold on. This is blowing my mind. I should want these two all the way in the back. Hold on. Oh, and if y'all were here last night, I set up my planner for 2023. I still haven't recorded the video. Today was a lazy day. If you look at my Vlogmas Day 17, a complete lazy day. But I um, <clears throat> I am going to record a video tomorrow with my planner, but I set up my planner for 2023, and I'm so excited. I'll give y'all a sneak peek. But okay, so we were going to BJ's, and I put the price, I put the item, I put the coupon and I put the final price because literally everything we were going to buy had a coupon. Do you see this? This is what I mean about strategically shopping, right? We bought the Purdue shortcuts. They had a coupon. Gogur for Kinsley. Ketchup. A three pack of ketchup for $7.79. Subtract a $2 coupon. It makes a three pack of ketchup $5.79. At Walmart, one ketchup is like $3. We got three ketchups for $5.79. So this is what I mean. It says our total was $136. Subtract coupons. We'd only spend $110. And this is all on things that we needed. Dawn Power Wash, uh, pie crust, popcorn, French toast, deluxe cheese, muffins, Chef Boyardee. Like this was things that we needed for our groceries. We saved $26 of coupons. That's if we were to buy everything on this list, right? Then I made another list. I think this was the first list. It was too small. I was like, I need it big. So I rewrote it. I'm going to keep this because I'm very impressed with myself. But I, I need to see it. I need it all written down so that I'm clear. Okay. All right. So now that my coupon bag is all cleaned out, now we are going to look up the deals at CVS and Walgreens for next week. I'm going to look at CVS first because I don't think they have anything. But I'm going to look at CVS first and I'm going to see what they have. And I'm going to decide what I'm going to buy. I have like $20 in extra bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Let's see if it'll let me log in. Where's the login? Honey, and I bought it and everything else keeps popping up. Stop, honey. I need to log in. And also, I have not signed back up for my care pass at CVS because I just didn't go to CVS for months and months and months. 
And I was like, I'm not about to, I didn't renew my care pass. So I'm thinking that I might renew it <clears throat> in January. <laughs> because if I'm not consistently going like twice a month, care pass isn't worth it for me. So um, weekly ad. That's just me. But care pass is very worth it if you go to CVS at least twice a week. It's worth it. Um, I got to pick a store. I hate that it does this. It makes you pick a store to look at the ad, which is so annoying. <coughs> I picked a store far away from me with... <laughs> When we were doing, I was uh, showing people stuff. So I try not to pick like my zip code. I try to pick a zip code that's near me. Okay. Okay. Let's see if it'll show me the ad. Because right now it's not giving me. Okay. Now it is. All right. So let's see what they got. That is something that I need. Lotion, body wash, we need. Lotion, body wash, we need it. That is what I'm looking for. I could stand to get some toothpaste. I could. But lotion and... They have cereal. We need cereal, okay? So we need General Mills for sure. And I know I have a coupon, right? So General Mills is $1.99 and then Nature Valley. So I can't see my coupons right now. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm looking through the ad from the lens of what I need. We have no cereal. We have no cereal. Yes, I do have a printable breakdown. When you join the um, Better Budget Challenge, you will get it, right? When you join the Better Budget Challenge, I will give you my um, my printable breakdowns. You'll get the transaction breakdown and you'll get the deals breakdown. So I'm going to look through from the lens of like what I need. And then I'm going to go back and look at what coupons I have. So they have a spend 30, get 10 for laundry soap. I know the Arm & Hammer is coming back to Walgreens. So I'm not even going to look at this. And I need toilet paper, paper towels and Walgreens. So I'm not even about to look at that. I need lotion. I have to find that insert with you, Soren. It's got to be downstairs. I need lotion. I need body wash. I need body wash. Okay. So those are the deals that I really want to do. They have buy two and get two for you by Kotex. Now, I have some you by Kotex. Can I, get, can I stand to have more? Yes. Right? So I'm just going to write here, just in case, because... If I have a CRT and a manufacturer coupon, then it'll be worth my while to get the you buy Kotex, right? Whereas Carefree is buy one, get one 50% off, buy, uh, and there's a $2 off two coupon, but there's no extra bucks. I'm not buying it without extra bucks. But they have buy two, get a $2 extra buck. But I'm going to check it. I'm just writing down things that I know we need, right? And if you're not you know, a psychopath like me and can remember everything, then just write what you need down. Write what you never want to run out of down. I am going to start getting some fresh makeup. I'm going to go through my makeup and get rid of old and crusty and expired because I do want to start putting a little bit more makeup on. Some mascara, a good BB cream. I do want to start doing that. Um, I'm not getting any of these gift sets. I'm not here for it. I don't need any of that. We need lotion and body wash. Okay, so they have Dove. Unpopular opinion. I do not like Dove body wash. I do not like Dove body wash. I don't like Dove body wash. Now, they have Nivea lotion. Not my preferred brand, but we're going to write it down. They have Nivea. Buy two. Get a $5 extra buck and there's a, a scissors by it. So that means that there's a coupon. I'm just going to write it down because that's what we need. They also have Nivea body wash, spend 20, get 10. I 
I don't want to have to spend $20. I can tell you that right now. So I'm not going to write that down. I love that you're doing this. Got to go shopping tomorrow. Yes, me too. Um, for sure. Now they had the pods moisturizer. Huh. One other thing I learned, right, that I've tried a lot of products at CVS and I've tried some things at Ulta. And I've learned that just because it's cheaper at CVS doesn't mean that's my preferred product. I used to love Cetaphil. Used to work great. But now I'm all about First Aid Beauty. First Aid Beauty is much more expensive than me being able to like get this Ponds at CVS. But I like First Aid Beauty so much better. So instead of doing the CVS deal for Ponds, which I probably should because I need more moisturizer, I'm just going to save up, get me a gift card and go to Ulta and buy my First Aid Beauty big container that lasts me seven, eight months. Okay, and I want to get one for Kinsley, too, because it works good for her face. Um, so they have care, caress body wash. Buy one, get one free. But I know one is going to be like seven dollars. Right. So. Oh, as far as body wash goes, they have Olay. Buy one, get one 50 percent off. Buy two. And get a $3 extra buck. Uh, I have enough body wash to get us through at least until February. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. And also, I might just invoke that. I might, if I look and I see they have a decent amount of body wash, I might use this rain check. I might use the rain check. From 2018 for the soft soap. We might. I might have to do the math. Let me write it down. Because I have some extra bucks to roll. Rain check. 349 times 4 soft soap. And get 175 ECB. For each one. So I might have to invoke the rain check. I might. I just might. Because I don't like the body wash being this low. I really want another good St. Ives deal from Publix. That'll probably be the next time I really go crazy for body wash. Because, yeah, I'm going to stick to what I know. And I do. I have a rain check. Oh, you missed that. I have a rain check from 2018. And I have a rain check from 2015 that I plan to use. I have a Tide Pods rain check. Four Tide Pods, 14 count, on sale for $3.94. And when you spend 15, you get $5. Look at this rain check, Sam, from 2015. You see that? And it says, this rain check does not expire. And then I have a Gatorade one from 2018, but this soft soap one is the one I want to use tomorrow. It's from 2018. And you can see they were on sale for $3.49. And it says you buy one and you get a dollar and 75 cents extra buck. That's 50% off. So I'm basic, I'm only going to basically pay because a dollar off would be $2.49. 50 cents will make it $2. I'm going to pay $1.75 per bottle of um, soft soap, which I'm totally fine with because I'm low and I don't want to get too low. Right? And I'm not couponing on Christmas. I'm not going to coupon that week. I don't even know what the ads are going to look like because it's going to be Christmas week. That's going to be when we start looking at clearance stuff. But I'm not going to do CVS clearance until the beginning of January when it goes to at least like 70, 75% uh, off. Okay, so no body wash. Hair care, I'm not even looking at because we don't need it. Ain't no hair care that I need from CVS. Now, oral care. We ain't out of toothpaste, but we are definitely on the lower side. And it's it's kind of it's kind of hurting my heart because we are gonna have to pay more for toothpaste than I like. They have Colgate three forty nine. You buy two, you get a three dollar extra buck, but there's only a one dollar coupon, and I don't have any inserts. So let's see if there's any printables. Oh, they have a 75 cents. They have a 75 cents. 
So I'm gonna have to do math here because y'all got both my devices. Actually, no. Hey Siri. Go ahead. Can you open the calculator, please? Thank you. Okay, so let's do this here math. Make this bigger. To see if I can do it. All right, so 349 times two toothpaste will be 698. Subtract a dollar, subtract 75 cents, subtract 175 in coupons, and then we're going to get back a $3 extra buck. Ooh, this is going to hurt me, y'all. I haven't paid for toothpaste since toothpaste has not had a net cost since 2008. This will be the first time that I have a net cost for toothpaste. Oof. And it's a dollar and 10 cents. I don't know if we're going to be, the thing is, I don't know if we're going to be able to get it lower than this. I imagine that we will. So I'm going to hold off because we still have plenty. So I'm going to hold off. And wait to see if we can get it for 50 cents, even though there's a 75 cents printable. If there's an Ibotta rebate, rebate that pops up, great. But for now, I'm going to hold off. I'm glad to know I'm not the only one who tells Siri, please and thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm, I try to be respectful. Yeah, I'm going to wait. They have the toothbrushes. Buy three and get a $5 extra buck. And we don't have an Ibotta rebate, so I'm not doing the toothbrushes either. Okay, so we're going to pass on all the toothpaste. Shay, what did I say? I need a Schick. I need Schick Hydro 3. Let me write this down. So I'm crossing off the Colgate because that's a dead mission, right? They have Schick. I don't even know if we have any Schick coupons, but I'm going to write this down. We're going to check my coupons. We have Schick Spend 25, get 10. And I need Schick Hydro. Hydro Soak 3. Silk. Shit, Crystal. Hydro Silk 3 is what I need. So I need to see if we have any Shik coupons because I need the Shik Hydro Silk 3. But if it's not cheap enough, we're not going to do it. I'm not buying no candy. I don't care how cheap the candy deals are. We don't need it. Even though Bay does love these peanut M&Ms. And it's buy two, get a $1 extra buck, and they're two for eight. That could work. But we are getting cereal. I'm going to get four boxes of cereal. Hopefully I have a, a cereal CRT. That would be great. They have Bob and get one free Kellogg's. That's a dead mission. Two for six ocean spray. Ooh, they have veggie straws. Kinsley likes those. And then they have the... Oh! We can do the small... or We can do the small cookies... They are two for three dollars. And when you buy two, you get a one dollar extra buck. That makes them one dollar each. So we can do two of those. I'm gonna get um two Oreos. <clears throat> they also have the chips ahoy, two for seven. Buy two and get a two dollar extra buck. So that will make them five dollars, which I think that's a good deal too. They are two for seven by two. Get a $2 extra buck because that means that will make them $2.50 a pack and that's cheaper than Walmart. And then they have the Oreos, the same thing, but they are two for eight by two. So that'll make them $3 a pack. So we could do the big Oreos instead of the small ones. Only thing is there's no coupons with them. So I think I need to pick one or the other. I may do... The small Oreos and the big chips ahoy. Because that'll be $10. And we're going to get back $3 in extra bucks. So for $7, we'll get two small packs of Oreos and two big things of chips ahoy. I think that would be the best use of our money. And I'm going to see if, if I have a food CRT. Because um, that'll help too. And then 
laundry soap dawn power wash i'm never buying it i'm getting that at bj's only okay so now you see how i've gone through all the things that i think i might want to buy so now i need to go and look and see which some of these crts are going to change come tomorrow because more will come in so i'm going to have to do the crt check again tomorrow but i'm going to look right now to see what crts that i have that are going to be good for the 18th and beyond all right, so it says, since I don't need a calculator right now, it says I have do, 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 all these little, little cents. I'm going to send all of those to my card. I have 57 cents. And then I have 5 nine, 10 $15. I got $21 in extra bucks that I didn't know. So I have $21 in extra bucks. Okay. All right. So I have stuff that ends on the 17th. I can't look at those. Um, all right. So we're cooking with grease. We have 50 cents off of Nature Valley, which I'm definitely going to buy these for myself. 50 cents off too, because I like Nature Valley. So I'm definitely going to get those for myself. So I'm hoping I have a cereal CRT to match with it. We have, which... I don't see any. I'm going to have to wait to get my CRTs tomorrow because I don't see any. I need to see if we have a cereal coupon, though. Because that's what I really need. Do, do, do. I see no CRT. So we have Carefree. Oh, there is a $2 user and coupon that expires today. So maybe we'll get another one tomorrow. Mm, our $1 Colgate coupon expires today, too. Palm Olive. Do we have a General Mills cereal coupon? I know I have a General Mills cereal coupons.com rebate. I know we have that. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, so we might have to check coupons in the morning, y'all, because this is looking real lackluster at CVS. It's, it's given we ain't got nothing. It's given digital coupons looking like shit. Okay, but I do have a General Mills. I have a General Mills $1 off of two. So I need to see if I can find one more because I'm definitely buying four boxes of cereal tomorrow. Okay, let's pray for a cereal CRT in the morning. Let's look up General Mills. Hmm. Oh, these are Pepsi coupons. I didn't know these shits was on here. A dollar off of oatmeal, a dollar fifty off the Pearl Millen. Okay, Quaker. I need a dollar off of. Oh, shoot. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I didn't even know this existed. I'm about to make a video on this. This is called tastyrewards.com. You can order coupons in the mail from Tasty Rewards, y'all. They have Doritos coupons, Pearl Milling Company, Cheetos, Quaker, Smart Food Popcorn, Pepsi, Lay's, Mountain Dew. You can order these coupons. Pure Leaf Tea, Quaker Rice um, Crisp. So first off, you can order these coupons. I think I fetch on here. You can order these coupons and they're going to mail them to you. Then they have digital coupons that you can get at Publix and Family Dollar. And then they got printable coupons. So you can order coupons twice a month from them. I'm flabbergasted right now. Let me add this to my Vlogmas because I'm going to be like, I probably y'all probably knew about this, but they letting us order coupons 
Hold the line. Let me put this down in my notes. It's called Tasty Rewards. I'm like flabbergasted right now. Okay, here. I'm going to put it on in the YouTube comments. Oh, my God. Or maybe I'll do places you can print coupons. And I'll put all the places in there and include this as one of them. I'm flabbergasted. I'm completely flabbergasted. I'm going to have to do a video on where to print coupons. Because I'm just like, I was looking for General Mills and that is not General Mills. So maybe I should type in Cheerios coupons. We do not really want Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Let me go to coupons.com and see if they have any. Okay, but at least I have one digital. I didn't see any Kotex coupons. I didn't see any shit coupons. So that might be a dead mission. We need to pray for a few a food CRT tomorrow. Okay, first, and these printable coupons on coupon coupons.com is looking real scarce. It's given, we ain't trying to give y'all no coupons. It's given, we out of egg, we out of ham. You want lunch or something? That's what it's given right now on coupons.com. All right, so it's looking like tomorrow at CVS. Oh, you know what would be even better? If we find a soft soap coupon and we use... That's how we gonna get them. I may wait until there's a digital soft soap coupon and I can print a soft soap coupon and use that rain check. Cause there's always a soft soap coupon. <clears throat> they always have them. But I think it's for 15 to 18 ounces and this coupon is for 20 ounces or larger. My rain check is for 15 to 18 ounces, so I can't double dip like that, but it's fine. I'm going to wait. I might invoke that rain check tomorrow and just say F it. $1.75 a bottle. I have extra bucks, and it's going to give me back extra bucks. So I could use the soft soap first in a transaction because I have $20 in extra bucks. So I can do the soft soap first. Use the extra bucks that I have to cover that transaction because it's going to be $15. So I use $15 in extra bucks to pay for the soft soap. And then I'll get back $7. And then I already have extra bucks that I can use to get my cereal, my bars, and my cookies. I think that's what we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to invoke that rain check. So we're going to do the rain check and pray for food CRT and make it even better. All right. So we figured out CVS. Y'all see my process. So now we're going to look up good old Walgreens. CVS is cool. And I'm right up here. I have $21 in extra bucks. So that's going to help us tremendously. And we're going to leave with a lot of food tomorrow. And we're going to invoke that soft soap rain check because why not? All right. Let's look up Walgreens. Okay, so my CVS breakdown is done. This is when it won't give me my pet. It was telling me my password is incorrect. I hate you, Walgreens, right now. It won't let me log in. Say my. 
password is wrong. Whatever. Let me just look at the ad, please. I'm just look at the ad. All right, see next week's ad. I can tell you right now off the bat, I don't think I have any Walgreens cash. I may have like 4 or $5. We is doing the Arm & Hammer. I'm praying I find a booster outside on the ground because that would really make my day. Ooh, they got candy, the theater candy. Four for a dollar, which is cheaper than Dollar Tree these days. And we do need to go see Avatar Way of Water. Oh, Jesus. Walgreens is trying to kill us. Buy two $50 gift cards and they give you a $10 Walgreens gift card. That's a raw deal. It used to be $50 total when you get a $10 gift card. Oh, they really trying to get you. They disrespecting us now. All right, deals of the week. The Arm & Hammer is back for $1.99, okay? Let's see what products are included. It won't let me. So the Arm & Hammer is $1.99. I'm going to get at least four, okay? At least four. Hey, Jules, I am originally from Baltimore, but I live in Florida now. So we're definitely doing the Arm & Hammer. I'm putting times four. Now, they have the Oral-B toothpicks, $4 each. When you buy three, you get $5 in register rewards. Well, $5 in Walgreens cash. But I would spend $12, and I need to see if we have any coupons. So I'm just going to put Oral-B floss, $4, and then it's... Buy three, get five dollars in wags cash. I gotta see if we have a coupon. I also need definitely paper towels, but do I want to spend fifteen dollars? I need to get two paper towels. Yeah, I'm gonna get two paper towels. I can. We have five toilet papers. I need to get at least two paper towels. Depending on how much Walgreens cash I have will determine how many toilet paper and paper towels I get. Okay? So I'm going to get at least two paper towels, and that's going to be $7.50 because they're buy one, get one 50% off. Um, okay. They have a soft soap deal. They have soft soap, but I think it's going to be a raw deal because it's buy three, get a $5 in register rewards, but it's they're $5 each. They used to be like $2.99, $3.99, $4.99, oh, Jesus Christ, $5, and then you buy three and you get $5 in WAGS cash. Now, we need a coupon that's decent because this really is a raw deal. $5 each, $15. There's a $0.75 cents coupon on the website. So even if I print two of them, that's only going to be $1.50 off. So that's $13.50. And then we get $5 back. Like, this is going to come out to a raw deal. So we need to pray for an I bought a rebate. Where's my calculator? Hey, Siri. Can you open the calculator, please? Thanks. I don't know why I got closed in the first place. So $15. Subtract them two 75 cents coupons that I can print. Right? Subtract the $5 in Walgreens cash. It's going to be $8.50 for three of them. Makes them two eighty-three dollars each. And I'm going to just invoke my uh rain check at CVS because that's a raw deal at Walgreens unless they're giving us like a three off two which could potentially make it better then I could only use 175 cents coupon but if we get a at least an I bought a rebate or something to make it a little better so in the morning what I'll do is I'll look at my updated CRTs and see um 
if CVS is looking a little better. And then I'll look at Ibotta rebates in the morning too, because sometimes they change. If you drink soda, the Pepsi is three for $10.99. The 7 Up is three for $10.99 at Walgreens. It's a great deal. Um, if you drink Pepsi. Uh, let's see what else. They have two for 10 bacon. I think the bacon is $8.99 at my Publix this week. I'll have to check. But this two for 10 bacon, if you need bacon, is a good deal. I don't know if we have any bacon. I'm going to go check. All my blue diamond almonds, they threw my almonds away. So we're going to see. They are two for $4.99, even though I should wait till they buy one, get one free, which I kind of is buy one, get one free. I need to see if we have coupons and I bought a rebates because sometimes we have a coupon and an I bought a rebate. And we have no more almonds in the house. And I love them as a, a snack to snack on in the car. So I wrote that down as something I'm going to check on. They have Lay's chips, two for six. They have Tostitos, two for seven. They have Briars, two for 10. We have Bogle ice cream at Publix. We also have Bogle whipped cream at Publix. But they have two for six whipped cream, two for seven Ritz crackers. So if you need any of that, they have Coke products, three for $12.99. Just check your price of your Walmart and your local grocery store to see which soda do is the best for you. Hmm. <sighs> They have a six pack of vitamin water for $4.99, which really isn't that bad because that's less than a dollar per bottle, but they never have the flavor of vitamin water that I like. They have Arizona iced teas, four for $3, which isn't bad. It's not bad at all. It's not the 50 cents a, a, a can that we used to get them, but four for $3 isn't terrible. I'm not buying it. I bought a case of green tea Arizona's from, from BJ's. So I'll pass. They still have the tequila and stuff on sale. Which I might do another one. They got a $5 mail-in rebate for Heineken. They always be buying Heineken. I might make him buy it from Walgreens and we can use the rebate. Because, like, why not? Let me put down this box candy because we are going to go to the movies. But this would be great for me to let Kinsley grab a box or two of candy and me to grab a box or two of candy because they are four for four dollars. And we can save them for when we go to the movies because that's cheaper than Dollar Tree. So I think we're definitely going to do that. But you see how I'm planning ahead. I know what we need and I'm going to do those deals. OK, so now I have a clear picture, a clear idea Hold on. I have a clear idea of what we need. I have a clear idea of what deals to check tomorrow when the coupons reset or when I have my phones, right? The coupons are actually about to reset because it's midnight. Why on God's green earth do they have two for 25 Bounty and Charmin? They're $12.99 each. Six or nine packs. And you get a $5 in Walgreens cash when you buy two. $20. Oh, hell no. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, now this may be something. They have gain flings four for $16. It makes them $4 each. That is not bad. Let's look up one gain flings at Walmart. Let's see. Let's see. One at Walmart is $4.88. So if you like gang flings, four for 16 at Walgreens, that's a good deal. It's 88 cents cheaper per one. If you have Walgreens cash or anything, if you're going to do any of the other deals that give you Walgreens cash, then you can use your Walgreens cash to lower your cash out of pocket for the game. If you have any digital game coupons or if you go on PNG Brand Saver and print out a coupon for the game, I think that's a great deal for you. Let me see. I have that coupon in here, but I think it's for Tide Pods. Um, I have Bounce. Oh, yeah, it's for Tide Pods. Oh, it's 21, low, 21 or larger. Those is only 14. But that's a great deal if you like if you like game flings. I'm going to be getting the Arm & Hammer, and I'm going to Walgreens first thing. As soon as I wake up, I'm going to Walgreens and CVS to do my videos and then um, go about my day. 
But yeah, I'm going to do that first and get it off my plate. All right, y'all. This was great. I hope y'all enjoyed watching me clean out my coupon bag. I hope you enjoyed watching me get my okay. mind together for CVS and Walgreens. But this is my CVS deals. These are my Walgreens deals. And I'll double check them in the morning. Buy five game, use $20 in Walgreens cash to pay pocket. Yeah, you can absolutely do that. If you have $20 in Walgreens cash, you can absolutely do that. But they're four for 16. So the thing about Walgreens is I'm pretty sure if you buy them odd, you don't get it for $4. Makes sense? So you have to pay the $4.99 price for that fifth one, if I'm not mistaken. At least at my Walgreens, they'd be like that. They don't they don't honor the deal half off like they do at CVS. If something changed, let me know. But that's how it used to be for Walgreens. So let me know if something changed for you. Um. So, yeah. Thank y'all for rocking with me. If you want to work with me and learn my strategy and learn how to coupon and save money like me, make sure you go to kristamaximizer.com and sign up for the Better Budget Challenge. It is $30 and it is four days of budgeting day one, coupon in day two, meal planning day three, and then day four is a Zoom Q&A. You can use the promo code 2023 to get it for just $23. Today I bought Pepsi two for six. I bought three each in ring of three dollars. That's just my store. Okay. That that looks great. But for me, it don't ever be working like that. And I think it could potentially be different states because it, it has not done that for me. If it works for you, I'm happy for you because it does not work. It did not work for me like that. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go. Y'all can definitely go sign up for the Better Budget Challenge, and I hopefully should be live again tomorrow. Y'all have a good night, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.